Bases. The French chemist Guillaume Francois Rouelle first introduced the concept of a base to the field of chemistry in 1754. Rouelle is famous for his experiments with highly corrosive acids, particularly acetic acid, which is responsible for the sour taste and pungent smell of vinegar. He noticed that acids will turn into salts when combined with certain substances. He called these substances bases, since they provided a concrete base for the formation of salts. Although Ruel understood certain characteristics of bases, he could not explain why they behave the way they do. Science would have to wait another hundred years for the first scientific definition of a base. Long before Ruel coined the term, people have recognized several distinguishing properties of bases. Many soaps, for example, contain a base called potassium hydroxide or caustic potash, which allows them to easily dissolve in water and gives them their slippery texture. In the 17th century, the English writer and amateur chemist Robert Boyle first characterized substances as either acids or alkalis. Alkali is now used interchangeably with the term base. Acids, he said, taste sour, corrode metals, and turn litmus. A dye extracted from lichens, red. Alkalis, on the other hand, taste bitter, feel slippery, and change the color of litmus to blue. Boyle also observed that reactions between acids and alkalis result in the weakening or neutralization of both substances. Chemists still often refer to a base as any substance that can react with an acid to decrease its acidic properties. In the 1800s, the Swedish scientist Svante Arrhenius. Proposed the first chemical definition of a base. He realized that water will dissolve many compounds by breaking them up into individual ions. Ions are atoms or molecules that have acquired an electric charge by gaining or losing electrons. The loss of electrons results in a positively charged ion or cation, while the gain of electrons results in a negatively charged ion or anion. Arrhenius noticed that some compounds release hydrogen ions when dissolved in water. These compounds, he noted, were acids. Bases, he concluded, were substances that release hydroxide ions when dissolved in water. Hydroxide atoms contain one atom of hydrogen and one atom of oxygen. For example, sodium hydroxide, commonly known as caustic soda or lye, forms a basic solution according to Arrhenius's definition. In water. Sodium hydroxide breaks into ions of sodium and hydroxide. Arrhenius's definition succeeded in explaining why bases have properties different from acids. It also explained why a base will react with an acid to form salts. Although Arrhenius uncovered the fundamentals for understanding the chemistry of bases, his definition presented limitations since some substances behave like bases even though they do not release hydroxide ions. Baking soda, for example, demonstrates basic properties, yet has no hydroxide ions in its chemical composition. It therefore cannot release such ions when dissolved in water. Furthermore, not all basic solutions require the use of water as a solvent. Thus, in an attempt to create a more generalized definition of a base, the Danish scientist Johannes Bronsted and the Englishman Thomas Lowry independently published a new theory on the chemistry of bases. Bases, they proclaimed, are substances capable of accepting a proton. A proton, for all practical purposes, can be equated with an atom containing one proton and no electrons, called a hydrogen cation. The Bronsted-Lowry definition includes Arrhenius bases as well as explains why substances like baking soda demonstrate properties of bases. Using the Bronsted-Lowry definition for bases. Chemists can measure the strength of a basic solution by its ion concentration. Since bases accept hydrogen ions, they decrease the concentration of free hydrogen ions in a solution. Thus, the fewer hydrogen ions present in a solution, the more basic the solution. In 1909, the Danish biochemist Søren Sørensen invented a scale called the pH for measuring the degree to which a substance is acidic or basic. Values on the pH scale range from 0 to 14, and are determined as a function of hydrogen ion concentration. Values close to 0 represent highly acidic substances, such as hydrochloric acid, while values close to 14 represent extremely basic substances like ammonia and lye. 
Such applications of the Bronsted-Lowry theory make this definition of bases the most widely used for the majority of research in the field of chemistry.